Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney. And this question turns up all the time in this industry. Let's read it. Can I be fired for filing with the EEOC? Or the other way that people ask me is, can I be fired for filing with the New York State Division of Human Rights? So can be is not the same as will I be. Let's talk about that. Uh, can you murder someone? I presume you're capable. You could physically murder someone. Um, should you? No. For starters, no, you should not. Uh, would there be repercussions? Is it illegal to murder someone? Yes. Uh, depending on where you are, there's a very high chance that you will be apprehended and jailed or eventually uh, executed for killing someone, right? So we're playing that game. Your teachers used to play with you when you would say, hey, can I go to the bathroom? Your teacher would say, I don't know. Can you? And you as a child would be like, what's happening? I don't, I don't know what's happening. I, I gotta go. What, what are you, what, are, what are you playing at, teacher? And of course, what the teacher's actually playing at is uh, the proper use of the English language. Can means you're able. So yes, you are able to commit murder, and you're able to go to the bathroom, and your employer is able to terminate you after you start an EEOC filing or a New York State Division of Human Rights filing. However. However, if you have filed a workplace discrimination or a sexual harassment case with the EEOC of the New York State Division of Human Rights, and your employer then turns around and terminates you, there's a very, very high chance that you're going to have a strong retaliation claim, right? In the same way, the murderer of the earlier hypothetical uh, can be held responsible and punished for engaging in the illegal act of murdering, Retaliation too is illegal. Once you've engaged in protected activity, it's illegal to retaliate. And so there's a very high chance that your employer will be held accountable for that retaliation. Now, is this a perfect answer? No, because quick, quick hypothetical, uh, you file, you, you've been the victim of sexual harassment. You file an EOC charge complaining of sexual harassment. Everything's going well, four days pass. You go into work and you dump poison all over your boss's lunch. You're not trying to kill your boss, you're trying to scare him. Yeah, your employer's gonna be able to fire you for that, right? Like that's not a reasonable course of action and I don't think anyone's gonna look at an employer firing an employee for bringing poison and dumping it on lunch and they're not gonna be like, oh, this is retaliation. They're going to say, oh yeah, that employer had no choice. They had to terminate because this employee brought poison in, right? And yeah, that's a wacky extreme example, but like, you'd be surprised how often it comes up when people call me up and say, hey, I filed the case. Me? I'm like, yeah, that's great, man. I, you know, I hope it all works out for you. Like, good luck. Let me know if I can help. And they say, yeah, but then after about my case, I, I did spit in my boss's face in front of like 20 witnesses. But it's cool because I got retaliation protections. It's like, probably not that cool. Probably not gonna be okay. Listen, your case may still be legitimate for discrimination or sexual harassment, but the retaliation component is gonna be a hard sell where you engaged in spitting in your boss's face or punching your boss or, you know, really aggressive problematic behaviors that obviously an employer can't allow a judge or a jury, a finder of fact, are not going to look at those actions and say, oh yeah, retaliation. They only they only fired this person because they filed a case. No. They're going to look at the spinning in the face or swinging or any punching, you know, any of these things as, yeah, this employer was left no choice. They had to terminate just for practical considerations. Running a business, you can't have dangerous assault occurring, right? And so this is a very long roundabout way of saying, if you file a workplace discrimination, workplace sexual harassment claim with the EEOC or the New York State Division of Human Rights, you do have protections against retaliation. And it is unlikely if you behave like a good, normal human being, an employee, it is unlikely that you will be terminated.
And if you are terminated, you will have a whole host of protections against that retaliatory act. And it is also within your power to do things that will give your employer an excuse to terminate you. So probably not the clear cut answer you may have wanted, but it's good for you to know kind of the range of things, I think. These are things you gotta think about, right? And I believe in you. You're capable of going to work every day after you filed your claim and not losing it and doing something illegal or aggressive or giving your employer that excuse to terminate you, which is what they want. It's what they want, right? Because it's very difficult for them to fire you once you file a case, unless you give them the out. I hope this is helpful. If it was, consider liking and subscribing. It helps me to help more people just like you. Take care.